the surprise. It was October. The leaves had fallen off the trees. They were lying on the ground. I will go to Toad's house, said Frog. I will rake all of the leaves that have fallen on his lawn. Toad will be surprised. Frog took a rake out of his garden shed. Toad looked out of his window. These messy leaves have covered everything, said Toad. He took a rake out of his closet. I will run over to Frog's house. I will rake all of his leaves. Frog will be very pleased. Frog ran through the woods so that Toad would not see him. And Toad ran through the high grass so that Frog would not see him. Frog came to Toad's house. He looked in the window. Good, said Frog. Toad is out. He will never know who raked his leaves. Toad got to Frog's house. He looked in the window. Good, said Toad. Frog is not home. He will never guess who raked his leaves. Frog worked hard. He raked the leaves into a pile so Toad's lawn was clean. Frog picked up his rake and started home. Toad pushed and pulled on his rake. He raked the leaves into a pile. Soon there was not a single leaf in Frog's front yard. Toad took his rake and started home. A wind came. It blew across the land. The pile of leaves that Frog had raked for Toad blew everywhere. The pile of leaves that Toad had raked for Frog blew everywhere. That's unfortunate. When Frog got home, he said, Tomorrow I will clean up the leaves that are all over my lawn. How surprised Toad must be. Look at poor Frog's lawn. When Toad got home, he said, Hmm, tomorrow I will get to work and rake all of my own leaves. How surprised Frog must be. What a mess. That night, Frog and Toad were both happy when they each turned out the light and went to bed. <laughs> I think they were happy because they had done something nice for their best friend even though they had leaves on their lawn to clean up tomorrow. <laughs>